All righty, old gatekeeper here, out here around the northeast end of Georgia, right here on Halloween. <laughs> I think it's about twelve forty. Mister three eighty eight in Virginia. This is your amplifier, my friend. Celebration Stogue. Mr. 388, old Glenn out there around Virginia, the man that lives with the ghost. <laughs> oh, ain't that proper for being Halloween, man. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, buddy. Got a X-Force TNT. Two driving four. Uh, was be biased. Uh, somebody converted it to a Class C. Um... Man, had to let my home boy, my partner, Mr. Oh, seven, three, take care of this one right here, man. And uh, I did a little bit with it, but he done the majority or shall I say pretty much all the work. And I will tell you, he did a dang good job with this man. He pretty much stripped this thing down to bare copper for you, bud. And even polished the board, man. I mean... <laughs> I tell you what, man, a lot of people don't go to that much trouble, but in certain situations, it is it is needed. It really is. So he got this thing looking good and shiny for you, man. Take a look at these 43 core 5.8s here, man. Look at that. I don't see that a whole lot. I have seen them out there. Um, I don't recall ever seeing them for sale anywhere, but... I have seen them time to time, and actually, I got one myself. 43 five eights. But anyway, as you know, you had two blown pills. I've already told you. So, I went ahead and put two used ones in there that matched up with these two. That's what you got right there on the end, back down there. And uh, pretty much, man, 073 re replaced a lot of components on this thing, man. Went ahead and put your new uh, balancing resistors there on the splitter and the combiner. Two 4.7s. Uh, got you two, uh, two new 68s right there in parallel for the padding resistors. Got you, let's see. Got you a new 100 on the ground there, 5 watt there, just in case you want to turn down on that, which you should not need to. I will be honest with you, man. The way this box is tuned, it don't even need a variable. It really don't. Unless you was going to use this as a driver. The way this particular box is tuned, man, some boxes are this way. Even with this variable all the way up, man, you have a very low dead key. So you really don't even need that variable there. But it's a brand new variable put in there. Brand spanking new variable. Okay. All this hookup wire is brand new. 14 gauge there going to the back of the input transformer, brand new. He pretty much rewired the whole thing, okay? Now look at this. <laughs> I like that, man. Look at that. That's a neat little angle. That's Mr. O73 signature right there. If you see any boxes uh, with the output transformers fed like that, it could be 073 that done it. That's his little signature, and I have to say, I like it. Instead of being fed with some 16 gauge or something like that, he threw these two fours in for you, man. And you got some good stiff eights feeding the output transformers, man. So this thing is not starving for power, and it won't starve for power. Um, I personally had to wire up the relay back here. And the relay also uh, needed a little bit of a little bit of TLC there. I got it wired up for you, and uh, that's for the SSB delay also. So this light will come on too on the SSB switch. Let's see here. I think that's about it. Uh, got all brand new ten ohms biasing resistors here. All new ten ohms. Um, 
course, you got the new feedbacks. Uh, these are these these new feedback circuits here as well. He replaced a lot of stuff. A lot of these components was in pretty rough condition, man. Um, so sometimes it's just best to replace it rather than just hope hope everything's fine. <laughs> so uh, that's the kind of policy I try to stick with too, man. Uh, he even sucked, you know, all your little extra solder spots, man. He he got them all smoothed out for you. Done a good job, man. Polished the board out here, man. I can't complain, man. He done a great job on it. I will give him credit where credit is needed. All right, Mr. 388, let's see what this thing's doing. All right, we got the bench radio to, uh, hooked up to it. I hadn't done this in a while. I used to let you see what my radio is doing before I did anything. Let's go ahead and switch this over here. 10 watt slug. All right. One watt dead key. Uh, yeah. It's four watts. Let's let it focus there. Oh, uh, yeah. Right there at four watts. Let's flip that back. Right, let's go ahead and flip the supply on. Flip it to the high tap. This is going to need it. All right. Thousand watt slug. Sorry about moving the camera around. Thousand watt slug. PEP. I mean, uh, average. Sorry about that. I don't know what I'm talking about. RMS, average. Uh, yeah. 300 watts, RMS. What I have found out so far on my equipment here. We're on a live antenna. I like to test this stuff when I do a video on a live antenna. Of course, I do all my tuning on the load here. But my antenna looks great on the MFJ. Great tune. Almost perfect, man. I like to just kind of do that on a live antenna whenever I'm doing a final video. And uh, usually, if I can get a 1x4, 2x4, 4 pill to do about 300 watts RMS... With my bench radio that I'm running, my my uh, uh, just 100% modulation, uh, not turned up at all, just just straight four watts, about 20 on the peak. If I can get it to about 300, I know it's working properly. A little bit more drive, she's over 400, especially with the hot radio there. So, so that's a good thing, man. All right, let's go ahead and let you take a look at the input reflect here. 10 watt slug in reverse. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All righty. Go ahead and flip it to PEP. We're in the corner. PEP. Uh, yeah, in the corner. This thing's producing nice. Here's your voltage drop. Oh, that's about 16.4 volts. That is a little on the volts there, but she'll drop down here when you see this hot radio hooked up to her. <laughs> if you want to see what it's doing on the medium tap, just for the heck of it, let's flip it down on the medium. All right, flip it down on the medium tap. Uh, yeah. About 800 watts, a little bit over. Oh, 14.5. That's on the medium tab, so it dropped about 200 watts PEP. We're going to get back, back, back to the high tap here and hook up the old hot radio. All right. We are doubling our input from 4 watts RMS to 8. And uh, I'm going to be getting some more bird meters here. And once I get my bench. Uh, built over that way. I'm already starting to move stuff this way y'all. The bench is going up over there Focus over there Focus Oh, oh forget it. All right <laughs> I'll have a bird meter so I can also show the uh, hot radio um, Drive and all that good stuff too Because whenever I hook the hot radio up this uh, meter is out of line. Okay. All right. RMS. Hot radio. Eight watts. Drive. Uh, well, it might help if I turned the radio on, wouldn't it? 
I don't do that as much no more, y'all. <laughs> I'm just in a hurry tonight. All right, here we go. Go. 400 on RMS. Let me get situated here. All right. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. I knew to do more. It's pretty much doing right there about 450 RMS. I can get it around 500. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to talk in it just right. <laughs> There's even, there's no need to go to the PEP. It's already doing a thousand watts. We're, we're peaking out about 1150. I put the 5K in early and seen it. We're in the corner. Here's your drop. Go 14.6, 14.7. All right, brother. Mr. 388, Virginia. Hope it lasts you, man. Hope it lasts you a long time, bud. And Appreciate you being patient. Now, here's something I do need to say. All right. I have about three or four avenues that people can get in touch with me. And I kind of need to start minimizing that because it's kind of getting hard to keep up with it. People can talk to me on Messenger, email, phone, text me on the phone, and comments. Now, as a lot of you know... I am not even able to keep up with the comments at all, period. Around the first of the year, I'm going to try to start keeping up with comments and staying, uh, uh, you know, staying with them and replying. But as of right now, if anybody's wanting to send me a message or anything like that, the comments is not a, a good way at all. I'm not going to get it because I just, I just, I'm not able to check all my comments. So shoot me an email. T H R E E M A N P R O three man pro. Here, not for too much longer, I will uh, set up my um, my uh, gatekeeper amps email. Make it a little easier to remember. I'll probably just make it gatekeeper at gatekeeperamps.com, but don't send no email there yet. But three man pro at gmail.com. Just shoot me a message there, okay? If it's super important. Put an ATT colon, attention colon, in the subject. Okay, just so to catch my eye and just, just uh, bear with me. I'm pretty much a one-man show, but thanks to Mr. 073, we got this bus moving faster now. God bless y'all, 73rds. Hope y'all have a safe Halloween. We got quite a few more videos to make, so on to the next. God bless, 73rds.